All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I have completed the full run of the Kenner, the Kenner line, the entire line. I have every single toy that Kenner made for the original three and three quarter inch collection. Um, but I've branched out. I have started to collect over the last year and a half or so. I've started to collect a lot of custom figures that uh, customizers are making and it's adding a f uh, breath of fresh air to to my growing collection which is awesome and I have in the past reviewed Next 17's figures. Uh, Next 17 is a company that is kind of extending the Kenner line in their own way making um, their version of three and three quarter inch figures that are Kenner inspired and today I am going to gonna check out the Cantina wave. This is wave three for the Next 17 and I, like I said, I've, I've reviewed some of their other uh, figures that they've made, and you can check out those videos on the channel. Um, but today, today's a good one. Today's pretty excited about today's opening, uh, box opening, because it's the Cantina figures, guys. <sighs> I love the Cantina. The Kenner Cantina is an amazing playset. I've reviewed all of those playsets just recently, so make sure to check out this video. This is gonna give you all the play sets in one tour, so be sure to check out that video. But today's great because I'm gonna get more Cantina figures to stick in that play set. I'm so stoked. Next 17 is really killing it, making some great stuff, getting, giving us figures that we never got, which is extraordinary. So I can't wait to open this box and share with you guys the Next 17's Cantina Wave. All right, guys, and here we are. I just got this box in from the Netherlands. Just arrived and I'm super jazzed to uh, get into this so I was telling you guys this is the third wave next 17 is chugging on along with their their collection their lineup adding to the Kenner line in their own way which is awesome to see I do love uh, exploring the new custom action figures that custom makers are making um, so this getting this box is a, is a treat um, and I can't wait to get into it and share it with you guys. So let's see what we've got. In no particular order. This is the first time I'm actually seeing these in person, getting my hands on them. And here we go. This is Hem Design. Now if you, God, this is awesome. I saw some photos of this, uh, this guy, a few of these guys actually. And so I was super jazzed uh, to, to see you know to get my hands on them this was one i knew straight away that i wanted this is hem design he is one of the cantina figures well all of these guys are cantina figures except for one and one or two in there um but this is the perhaps the first alien that you see that kind of does a one of one of these numbers Boop, and he pops his head up into screen um as soon as luke obi-wan and the droids enter the cantina in the original star wars movie this guy's kind of got a reminiscent et look to him Super detail. I love his face. I love the colors. Um, he does come with a, um, a soft goods type of cloak, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm really digging this guy. Like I said, as soon as I saw this wave, I knew this was going to be one of my, my favorites right here. This guy is pretty rad. I just love the look of him. Uh, a figure that Kenner never created. This is absolutely a, a new, brand new figure that Kenner never gave us. And he fits in beautifully with the the cantina creatures from from what i can see i mean this is great um it's got nice long arms obviously this is a you know a true five poa with the the limbs and the head moving as are the rest of these figures this is awesome i'm super stoked about uh getting him here like i said this is this is a must for me as soon as like i said i'm i'm Bears repeating, this guy, I knew right away I wanted him. This is a, an exquisite detailed figure and an instant classic. And I, I know he's gonna go great in my cantina, so I really cannot wait to to get him in there. Um, but let's let's see let's see what else we've got in here, boys and girls. We've got we've got some goodies. Uh, oh man. And here we are, guys, at long last. Dr. Evazon. Look at that. Look at that nose. Look at the pock marks in the face, the, the, the scarred eye. This is great, man. This is great. Awesome. Next 17, as I've told you guys in previous videos, 
Um, Next 17 does stamp his figures with his own personal coup, which is pretty awesome. Um, this guy's actually coming with a, uh, uh, Next 17 has made some drinks, uh, which is awesome. A nice little a notch in there is a, for a handle so that uh, our patrons here can hold their cups while they sip suds at the famous Most Isaac Cantina. Does come with a soft goods um, vest, which is nice, nice touch. Harkening back to the Return of the Jedi line with the soft goods cloaks and robes and whatnots. Um, I really love that. This is a great detailed face, and man, this is, you know, this is Dr. Avazon. You know straight away that this is Dr. Avazon with that mangled face, shall we say. If I had a face like that, I'd be running from the law. I'd be running from everyone because he is one ugly SOB. Um, I'm, I'm curious, how did he get the death sentence on 12 systems? I mean, he... He clearly had beef with Luke. In all fairness, Ponda Baba really started the the, uh, the altercation, but he was quick quick to get in Luke's face and tell him who he was, basically, and don't don't f with us. So um, I'm just curious the backstory on Doctor Avizan. I know there's Legends material um, that would fill in the blanks, but um, man, this is awesome. Next 17, good job. I do like the detail on this face. Like I said, I know straight away that this is Doctor Avizan. There's no mistaking it. It does bear, um, not repeating, but it, 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 it behooves me to tell you guys, this is the same, um, it's the same mold. This is the same action figure mold, but Next17 has chosen to uh, cut costs down and, and do this uh, very efficient way in, to maximize, uh, you know, making more figures without having to break the bank, so to speak, which is smart. Um, and I respect that and it allows the next 17 to make more figures for us, which is just awesome um, But yeah, like I said, these are the same same tunic same, same body same mold um, Pretty genius pretty genius Yeah, next next 17 is, is delivering the cantina goods. I'm so stoked man We've never we never gotten a doctor. I was on from Kenner of course Hasbro made one or two or three I don't know. I don't collect modern but Kenner never got around to it. We got Walrus Man. We got, you know, Ponda Baba. But now, now we have Mr. Death Sentence on 12 Systems, Dr. Evazon. Awesome. Freaking awesome. So stoked. Now, here is a gun. I don't know which particular figure this goes with, but as you can see, this is a brand new mold. This is not a Kenner reissued style reproduction. This is an X17 custom gun. I'm sure this could go with anybody. I'd have to look at the photos, which I'm sure I think are included, maybe possibly in the bottom of this box as a card back to show the weapons. Um, but we'll we'll continue to uh, to dig into it. Um, and here we have we have uh, Falterpern. This is uh, Falterpern. This is one of the other Cantina aliens. This is one of the goat dudes, which is awesome. This is another another Kenner, you know, type figure that that we never got. Kenner never gave us this figure, but he is pretty awesome looking. He definitely has that goat goat uh, vibe to him. You do uh, see him in the bar sipping suds with somebody, having a conversation, and um, this is dope. Brand new mold, new face. Great sculpt. I like the eyes. I like the detail. Um, just awesome. This is great. And again, with these guns, I think maybe the guns are all very relatively the same molds. Yep, they. Yep, they are. So you can pretty much put these guns with anybody. I don't think it's a designation for any one particular figure. Um, but that's cool. That is uh, super cool to see. To see that, so I'm stoked to uh, see that these guys can have some guns, and it, no one's, you know, no one needs to fight over it. They all look the same, which is dope. Um, now moving here, there are other uh, Cantina Wave figures. I these are only three. There's three more um, on this particular order. I did not get them, um, so I'm hoping to get them in the near future. But for right now, these are these are the ones I got. Um, and I wanted to check out some of these other figures that um, Next 70 is making kind of a secret wave of sorts, as he mentioned in the letter. 
Um, he made a figure that was not part of the cantina, something he wanted to swing for the fences and make it a brand new figure. So um, he decided to go ahead and pool resources and make said figure. And that is this big hunk of, hunk of plastic looking dude. And it's a Jabba goon. This is a Jabba goon. This is, ugh, let's get into this. This is Hermie Odell. Wow, this is a hefty figure, man. This is no joke. This guy, the very first figure that uh, Next 17 ever made was the Effet Mon figure. Um, and that was a huge figure in, in terms of proportion to the other guys. As you can see, Hermie Odell is no exception to being a behemoth in the new uh, vintage style Kenner line. Um, this guy was seen in Jabba's Palace. If you blinked, you probably missed him. Which is awesome. He does come with this huge staff. Um, it's got they got this uh, very uh, simple uh, custom Kenner style inspired uh, paint job. Not a lot of colors. You know, four four or five colors max. That's it. Um, but this is this is Hermie. This is a big dude. I would have never expected to get this guy. I do like the detail on his feet. Um, his face, I will say this, I wish the face was a little bit more detailed. I wish there was a little bit more lines, like the lines are more severe. I'm kind of a fan, like slated on these, like there's a lot of detail in the face, just super, super dark, deep lines. I'm a fan of that personally. Um, so I kind of wished that Hermie had gotten the same kind of treatment and just had really, really severe lines in his face and more, more wrinkles, maybe deeper wrinkles in the clothing. Um, I, I think that would have been rad. But uh, other than that, I think this figure is pretty, pretty cool for what it is. He's a big dude, going to fit in the Jabba's Palace uh, collection. And he's a background character. He is literally a glorified extra in the movie. And so random that Next 17 decided to, to make this figure. But here he is, Hermie Odell. What a character. What a character. A big dude. I mean, when you compare him to... It's just like Jesus. Look at that. Just like he's he's huge. He's huge. Crazy. Crazy. Now here's another one. Um, another random figure that uh, Next 17 cooked up. And this is, um, I'm not going to pronounce his name right. His name is E. Less. E. Less, I guess. Um, he is a Clone Wars cartoon action figure. He is one of the... Uh, uh, characters from the Clone Wars. I don't. I can't remember if he's a, a, you know, like for the. I think he trains the clones, or he has something to do with. I think he's a good guy. I want to say he he's one of the guys that helps train the clones. I could be mistaken, but I do remember seeing his face. Um, so this is random, making a Clone Wars figure funky. The colors obviously is kind of has a '70s motif, kind of a, a walrus man, Ponda Baba thing going on with the orange. The green and then of course the blue guns again the guns are the same same matching guns uh, just a different color so that's kind of cool and if you guys hadn't figured out this is in fact the same mold of Hemdazan just with the uh, different paint uh, paint apps again we're using the same uh, you know using the molds to make other to make you know more figures it makes sense it makes sense guys I'm not uh, not not uh, not knocking that you know make two when you can make two why not um but yeah so this dude i don't know where i'm going to put this guy because he's not a uh true star wars original trilogy character so this is kind of a one-off for me i'm not really sure if he's going to go in my displays um just the colors he really just is so vibrant he kind of pokes out and then the blue guns um it's kind of throwing it back to kenner with the color of like on the blue the blue best spin blaster so that that's that's for sure um but just because he's a clone wars character i probably won't stick him in my displays he'll have to go on his own little separate shelf most likely just because like i said he is his own he's his own figure he, he does not belong or is not featured in the original trilogy so but it's nice to see um next 17 just whipping out some some extras, some some fun stuff, and like I said, he, he'll just throw a curveball out there and do some stuff you didn't you didn't see coming. So this is kind of uh, nice to see. Um, 
moving on we have some little bits in here in this box um, oh wow so which is kind of cool to see accessories being made by custom makers as opposed to just not just not only making the figures themselves they actually have some accessories and I'm gonna look at this cars I forgot exactly what these things are called if it has anything in the back nope there's actually nothing listed on this on this uh, card back usually sometimes there might be a MOC style car back that says what these things are, but I think I think these are warts. I think they're called warts and slugs um, I think Yeah, I think these are like these little like slug looking things. They're on the main page of the um, next 17 website Which I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check out and get your shopping on but um, yeah, these are um, these are the uh, little creatures that uh, I believe were in uh, Jabba's palace. And he's made a large one, and then he's made a little, little, few little guys. So got different size, adult, adult and kid size little creatures, little, little fun things to just put on the floor. Or if you've got like some double-sided tape, you could stick these to a ceiling somewhere or on a wall. Just, just little disgusting little, uh, you know, Star Wars creatures. And the thing I'm most stoked about for an accessory is this right here. And this is the good old fashioned thermal detonator, which is just awesome. Super stoked to get this. Um, I already know I'm going to put this in Bausch's hand. She's the only character we see in the trilogy that um, rocks the thermal detonator. And so just for the sake of this argument, I'm going to show you guys how this plays out. You can see it fits in perfectly with his um, in his hand, kind of posed like that. And there you go, guys. The thermal detonator, nice little touch from the next 17, creating a little accessory to, you know, give our figures something to play with, which is awesome. Something besides a gun or you know a lightsaber. Um, but this is rad, dude. Uh, I do love the, the thermal detonator. Finally, finally able to add that in one of my setups. Super stoked for that. So thank you. Um, and guys, this is a little, um, just a little backdrop, obviously just to, for, this will be good for photos if you guys want to, uh, you know, shoot some photos for your, your collection or just store this in a cabinet and stack your guys in front of it so you can just kind of have an idea of what, you know, this is where these guys belong in the cantina. So this is a little Han Solo booth um, kind of thing and um, pretty sweet, pretty sweet, just nice little easy quick display little backdrop for your action figures um, I'm hopefully gonna get the rest of the wave 3 cantina figures um, I wasn't able to get my hands on them this time there's a devil man there is a um, wolf man and then there is of course woo her the bartender so I'm hoping to get my hands on those and I'll show those to you guys uh, hopefully in another video but I got these ones these just arrived so I figured I would show these off and show you the brand new Hermie Odal action figure and the new uh, Eless from the Clone Wars. And there you have it, guys. Next 17, back at it. Coming at you with some brand new action figures, customs, and breathing some new life into any vintage Star Wars collection. At long last, the doctor is in the house. We finally have Dr. Evazon next to Ponda Bobby. Fits in perfectly. We can make this scene a reality thanks to the Next 17 for creating such an awesome likeness. Just a beautiful Kenner inspired action figure. He looks great next to Ponda Baba amongst all the rest of the Kenner figures. Just sublime. And over here we have Felta Pern and Hemdazan soaking up the Cantina vibes. Having a chat. As you can see, they fit into the background beautifully i love these figures super stoked about him he's one of my instant new faves so thank you so much to the next 17. these figures rock they fit into the canatina just like a hand in a glove just amazing super stoked and i wanted to say thanks again to the next 17 for sending these figures my way to check out i always love to see what you're up to man and you do not disappoint these figures look awesome in my cantina thank you so much brother all right, guys, here's my Jabba's Palace scene, and here's Hermie Odal looking awesome in the back. He looks great next to a man a man in the OG original Effet Mon from the Next 17. Hermie's a surprise figure. I thought we'd never get him, so this is truly a treat from the Next 17. Super stoked. Thank you so much, Graham, for adding another goon to Jabba's Palace. The more the merrier, I say. I love aliens. 
These guys all add a little splash to the uh, collection, and Hermie is making a big splash with his appearance. So once again, thanks to The Next 17 for making that a reality. Guys, there's a link down below to The Next 17's website. Check that out so you can see what exactly Next 17 has currently in stock and maybe get your hands on some action figures of your own. I do uh, do have a couple couple Next 17 figures in here. Let's see if you guys can spot them. And if you can't, well, that's the genius of Next 17 because they blend in with the Kenner stuff. And that's what I'm all about. That OG vintage style Star Wars flavor. Hermie, you're looking good, buddy. You're looking good. Welcome to the palace. Well, guys, there you have it. That is Wave 3 from the Next 17. Holy smokes, they really delivered some gems. I'm super stoked to uh, get these guys. It's fun sticking them in my displays. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give the old like button a thumbs up to support the channel. And if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not. There is no try.